as long back as I can remember the first time that somebody asked me, how many kids do I want? Not if I had kids, if I wanted kids, but when, how many do I want? Um, I was about 13 years old. Okay. So up until maybe up until, so then you've got 12 years between 13 and 25. Yeah. That's 12. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. when your dad passed away and then life changed. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. And after that, it was only after then you started to think, hey, maybe I don't want to have kids. And then mm. a little bit after then, I guess you solidified, I, I don't want to have kids. Yeah. So what are the yeah. resp- what, what were the responses that you got when people asked yeah. at 26, 27, even still to this day, not as much because I think people who ask you, <laughs> maybe they sort of know that you're going to. There's still people who ask me who don't who don't even know about this list and then other people True, who yeah. actually bring it up and they're yeah. like, I fucking loved this. This was so like funny. I've got kids. I can say everything is true. Like, you know, there's a lot of it. It's a lot of mixed messaging, but I think a lot of the um, – the reactions that I get from people is, you know, oh, that's very selfish. That's very selfish reasons why you don't want to have children. And this is like not even about the list. This is just like coming back to when I actually go into explaining the reasons why, being like, yeah. you know, I really. I think Daisy wants to get down. Do you want to go to daddy? Um, but, yeah, they're like, oh, that's really, that seems really selfish. Mm. And I'm like, what a thing to say to someone who's just like laid their heart out on the line and just told you. Uh, you know, been very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Candid. Like ca- not candid, frank. but like, um, no, 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 no. I hate when you do this. You put words into my head when I'm thinking of something else. Um, no, vulnerable. Mm. Someone's been okay. like very vulnerable with you. Yeah. And, um, and then they've just gone in like straight away and been like, well, that's very selfish. And then I think. Have you had that one- to your face though? Yes. You've had people yeah, say I've to had, your face. Yeah, I've had very people selfish. say that to my face. Yeah. Really? After a few drinks, or like you know, when people are just like mm, whatever, like just say what they f- say what they mean. Yeah, say right. what you see, Gareth. Um, <laughs> this is a this is also a um, office reference when you like. The, Boston, I love the English Office. The English Office with oh, the American Gervais. one's great as well, but the English Office is the OG. Probably it's one of better. the best TV shows ever. It's way better than the American yeah. one. Um, but another one that we also get is you don't feel real love until you have a child. Yeah. Um, and then also the fact that people say it's like unconditional love, which I tend to disagree with. I don't think unconditional love exists amongst humans. I think it's always love on a condition. Like it, in my experience, I, like I've cut, I've cut my mother off. You know, I've, I know that's not true. Um, I know that, you know, she hasn't made the effort in seven years to say anything to me or do anything like that. So like, I know that that love is conditional. Mm. And I'm not saying that's for everyone. Like, but some maybe people, as a child, maybe this is as a as a child, like child's you know, perspective. For, yeah, three or four years. Yeah, yeah. like the love is unconditional. Yeah, I mean, I would I would assume. But so. that, but but don't get that mixed. up. It's not unconditional. Your child needs you to survive. Right. So you're saying so, that there's like a an exchange of they're maybe not doing it out of unconditional love. They're doing it out of they but need a parent to survive. should be though. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and even than- when that even when that child does things to piss you off, or uh, you know, they don't know. Like at that age, they they yeah. they don't know that they're pissing you off or you know pushing your buttons. But like your love for them should be unconditional. Mm. Um, I don't think your love for a child should be unconditional if they do, do things that are like really you bad. You don't know unconditional, or is it you? You don't know real responsibility until you have a child. I think that's probably pretty. Yeah, pretty, no, that's definitely something that um that that we get very often. You don't know real responsibility and. Um, you know, I think that's true for some people. I think that uh, like a lot of people haven't gone through some of the really life changing experiences that you and I have gone through, Mm. um, in their life. So that is their life changing experience. Whereas our, our experiences are very different. You know, we've had life changing experiences that have put a lot into perspective for us and given us an idea of like what's important, what's not, what what we want to focus on, what makes us happy, what brings us peace, all these things. Um, but some people's experiences like and lessons are their children. Mm. So I think there's a, like, it's, there's a very different way to look at it. But what about, won't you be lonely? Oh, God. Who's going to look after you when you're old? I hate this one. Like, firstly, you should never have children with the, um, the goal of them taking care of you later on in life so you're not lonely. Yeah. Um, and... I actually think almost like how that's so selfish. How yeah. and I like I know we say that we we don't want to judge, but if you do have children, 
for the reason of not being lonely and them taking care of you when you're older, yeah, that's, that's fucking a, selfish. I, I think if that's a top reason, if yeah. that's like in your, in your top like five or so six people, reasons the or whatever. so many people, it's the first thing that they say. Like, oh, I don't want to be lonely or who's going to look after me, so let's have it. Like, yeah. I, I think you should maybe think about having a child. Like mm. maybe just think about it a little bit more if that's actually driving and you. And go to therapy. Like how fucking selfish for you to obligate something which you brought into this world. Mm -hmm. to, like if that's actually a driving thing. I really hope that that's not a driving thing. I hope but I do feel like for a lot of people like it is. Because yeah, no, that's it, their first response. Who's going to take care of you when you're older? If you yeah, but I hope, it, I, hope, I hope that that's maybe like a deflection, almost like your list is a deflection. I hope that that's maybe a deflection for a lot of people. I hope that Who no knows? one would I don't bring know. a human being in this but life. But I also because, feel like, like, you know, that like won't you be lonely? And it's like, well, no, because I have so – when I don't have children, I have so much time and effort and energy to put into the relationships in my life with you, with my closest friends. And a lot of people speak from experience. Like I've heard people's experiences who work from um, like aged care facilities who's – like parents don't, that their children don't even come in and see them. They mm. say it's so, it happens so frequently. So the people that they're actually friends with in these homes are their most important relationships that they have yeah. because their kids actually don't come and see them. They don't give a shit about them. They don't care. So like for me. So it's a cop-out excuse. Like, yeah, so it's just a cop-out excuse. So I'm sure that there's some people that like the kids go there every other yeah, day and yeah. they're like lovely kid caring But still your kids won't be them. there every day with you. Like you need to have a good relationship with yourself first. And foremost, yeah, in my so opinion, I feel, I get, I feel first that. and foremost, yeah. you have to be comfortable with being able to be alone. Yeah, it's and almost like you, you, don't want to, you don't want to buy something for like a security, yeah. like your insurance policy to not be lonely. How having kids is not be, an insurance have, policy to loneliness. Yeah, it really is. You be it a isn't. good person and you actually attract some good quality people who want to be in your life. Yeah. Rather than like obligate something or someone. Exactly. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, I think you first have to need to have that relationship with yourself. You need to be comfortable with being lonely because shit's going to happen in your life where you will be alone more than likely. You won't have the support that you need. Like you won't, you won't always have that mm. regardless of where you have, whether you have kids or you don't have kids. Mm. And you need to also have relationships with people that you care about and love outside of your children as well. That is just a natural human connection thing. Maybe, um, unless you want to live like in the wild and you want to like, <laughs> you know, there's videos that, that I watch, right you know, now, where, those, where those people go away for like three days and like, yeah, but that, like, let, like let's, let's bring it back to the real world. Um, Cause that's not real world for a lot of people. That's like very niche. Um, but yeah, I, I think like the, the effort and the energy that I put into my life, my relationships with my chosen family, because I, my blood family is non-existent in my life. So the people who are my chosen family like I don't need to have someone come out of my uterus to be part it's of my same. family. Blood's like you and I are family, regardless of whether we have children or not. That's incest. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I love how you just lighten the mood with your ridiculous comments sometimes. Well, you know that saying, blood sicker than water? Yeah. yeah. So is cake batter, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> so true. And I, I think like, and we'll dive into this when we go into the toxic family and friends series that we sort of have planned, but – um. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's just really important to be able to, like, like I know that I'm not going to be lonely because I'm okay with myself. Well, look, maybe you've got great maybe relationships. You will, maybe you will be lonely. I think you've probably accepted the fact that hey, maybe I will be lonely, but that's my fault. Yeah, like it's not. It shouldn't be. Mm. Well, I've got an insurance policy where my kids will come and visit me. Can like, you just rely on that? Yeah, yeah, I think that that's a bit of a cop out. And yeah. look, honestly, I think that that would, for the for the most part, I reckon that would be to be a deflection, yeah, rather than a genuine reason why. And may, it maybe it's like if if people have like 117 reasons why they want to have kids, yeah. hopefully it'd be like down the bottom, yeah, as the reason why they because it's like, oh, it's an insurance policy for and not look, being lonely. Yeah, and like I love what lonely, you said. Like you, like you a, probably are going to be lonely. Like I've had experiences in my life when I've had family my parents and my siblings and you and wonderful friends where I have felt lonely. I've been in another country, you know, aw like away from everyone. I'm not, if you're listening, I'm not going to the bathroom. I'm <laughs> pouring a drink. If you're listening, He's I'm not watching. He's peeing into a bottle. He's <laughs> <laughs> filling up a drink. Um, but, yeah, I, I, like I've had experiences like that when I've had the best support and people around me and everything mm. and I have felt lonely. So, mm. you know, that's the, it's just I think a, like such a cop-out comment to say like you'll be lonely when you get old. It's like actually no. It's a very like, common one though. Yeah, it, it is very, very common. common. The, probably the most common one is that's selfish. Yeah. Which I'd, I don't know, I, I think it's actually one of the most selfish things and I don't have a problem with it. Mm. I think it's one of the most selfish things to have a child. 
like the reason why you want to have a child is because you have reasons you want to have a child. Yeah. You're not saying, oh, I'm doing this great deed and I'm like choosing to bring this in existence. It's like, no, yeah. I want a child because I want either mini me's or I want um, to have, you know, this love and this life or whatever. Like yeah. it's something you're doing it for your own purpose. Yeah. And that's that's actually fucking cool. But don't call that's people awesome. selfish for not yeah. wanting them. Yeah. That's, because like, yeah, you, like that's very it's hypocritical. Like, that's a double, double it's like someone saying like having kids, like you see, <laughs> it's like if someone calls me selfish for that, it's like me going out in public and saying to someone, seeing, seeing kids and just go, bit selfish in it. Mm. It's a bit selfish. Mm. And they're like, what? Having kids? What Can you, you imagine? I would be burned at the stake. Someone would literally burn me at the stake for saying that. However, it's Not in still. These days. I don't think it. I, when do you reckon the last Ross, person was burnt at the stake? Honestly, I reckon it was at least. People like would have burnt me at the stake ago. over this list if they could. But, um, Very true. but yeah, I mean, like the 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 initial like it's it's I, people feel like it's okay to say it's selfish for someone for this but it's very much can you imagine if probably it the most flipped common. the script and yeah. said you know you're selfish for having children what would you say the top three are is selfish selfish who's going to take care of you when you're old when you be lonely and there's no you won't ever feel a love, love yeah. like you have with the child yeah oh, that's great like and but you don't know until you have it so it's like you know like it's like someone doing heroin and being like. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is so great. You should do it. <laughs> and someone's like, well, look, it's not right for me. <laughs> but you go for it. But you go for it. Like, <laughs> Here's a clean <laughs> needle. <laughs> and look, we're not making fun of this. Yeah. We're just say, like using it as a reference. Like you, you wow. don't know until. You think I take things stuff. But, you, but what I'm saying is, wow. and don't like twist my words, you don't know until you have you make that decision and you have that child. Like we won't know what that feels like. I think like the point is we- like don't don't disagree. If someone's had, if someone's like genuinely thought it, and if you're at a barbecue or whatever, and someone's like, "Hey, do you want to have kids?" and then someone gives you an actual response, which might be like mm-hmm. a throwaway line or whatever, or a deflection, maybe just accept it for what it is and yeah. just be like, "Okay, cool. maybe I don't need to push this any further, or maybe I don't need to start conversion therapy, or." Mm-hmm. Be- Maybe it is the best thing that ever happened to you. Maybe you don't feel yeah. love like you've ever felt. Maybe you do want that as an issue. Like that's yeah. all great. And again, some but people are just made to be parents. Yeah, and that's but awesome. Other but people just don't, don't, are not. Like don't don't push it. Don't like chip away because it actually yeah. might actually fuck with them. They they yeah. might come away from that barbecue thinking, yeah, I didn't know how to answer that. I yeah. didn't know what to say. I didn't want to offend and them. And it does chip and away you just people. Wear that. And I think also too coming back to the above, like the the attacks that. Like I can take that. I like it. It does not bother me one iota. Like I could not care less what people think about me. But I know that there are people out there who do genuinely get oh, so, so sure. upset. I mean, we've heard the audio messages. We've seen DMs, yeah. and even it genuinely emails. very it's, much yeah. affects them when people say these awful things to them, yeah. and and just the constantly like chip away at them and chip away, and like it, it does. It does like hurt people. Mm. The conversation does hurt people. So I think just being a little bit more aware of people's like experiences. Well, I think some people so, have well, not like, aware, but like just empathetic and understanding that, hey, this accepting. person hasn't had the so, same you know life what? that I have. You know what? If that's what they feel, that, that that's that's fine. And look, I get yeah. the whole thing like and if you're so excited, you're so in love with your children and it's like, oh, you never feel this. And it's like, I get you want to share that with people. But yeah. it's kind of like finding And that's hot- so wonderful and we love that like, for you guys. But it's kind of like finding like hot yoga. When I found hot yoga, I literally like wanted to fucking tell everyone. It's like oh, you've got no, to do it's hot, not the yoga. hot yoga. People. It's got the to- fucking runners. It's the running oh, yeah. people. Half you marathon. have to run. You have to run. It's the best thing you'll ever do. Run club. Let's yeah, do a run club. club. Let's do a run club. Like run- running people? You know, a whole you different, know what? <laughs> different Maybe it's just not person. for me. Actually, you don't need to know that I got two knee con- reconstructions. Yeah. I didn't. I don't. haven't. But you don't need to know yep. that, like, it, it hurts. You don't yeah. need to know that I, I hate it. I go to the gym instead. I go yeah. and do whatever it is. Mm. Like, I do you what's don't need good for conversion me. therapy. Yeah. But I think these are, like, the controversial thing. Call them controversial things. Call them maybe, like, the satirical things, like the throwaway comments. But there's been, like, a number of things that have actually led you, led me, led us to yeah. actually – really understanding and probably not accepting within ourselves that hey, we just we just don't want to have kids. Thanks for tuning in to In Real Life. If you enjoyed this episode, we'd love for you to subscribe on Spotify and connect with us on Instagram at IRL with us. And remember, life isn't about meeting other people's expectations. It's about living it on your terms and meeting your own expectations. So go out there and live in real life. We'll see you next time.